Doug and PA back with another video. So I found this news article that says that Portland is one of the top 10 fastest shrinking cities in the United States. It's number six out of 10. People are leaving Portland in droves because of the homelessness, the crime, and the anti-police sentiment, and I don't blame them. I've said this in previous videos. I was born and raised in Western Washington. Western Washington used to be a great place to live. It isn't now. And I always recommend, guys, if you don't move to the Western states, don't move to Washington, don't move to Oregon, and don't move to California. As a former Washington resident, I can tell you everything you see on the news is true. So we're going to get into this news story about shrinking Portland. Before I do that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's see what's going on in Portland. I'm Will Metzold in Southeast Portland and new data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows Portland lost the sixth most people of any big U.S. city in the last year. Many people say that data just backs up that Portland just is not what it used to be now. Come on, baby girl. Amanda Guest has lived in Portland for about 15 years. She says she enjoys it and is troubled to hear many are packing up and leaving. I know it's been really tough for a lot of people through the pandemic and it's been hard to see you know, Portland at the forefront of some of those tensions. New census data shows Portland lost the sixth most people among U.S. cities in the last year at more than 8,000. 8,000 people. So that, in, uh, I would factor that in with um, a lot of those people probably got re remote work jobs. And w why stay in any major city if you can work from anywhere? Why? You know, they probably moved a lot of people moved out of Portland the same way they moved out of California. I have a friend that lives in Austin, Texas, and he said a lot of people move from California and Portland to Austin, Texas. But why would you stay in a place like Portland? It's rainy, it's cold, homeless, crime. Get out of there if you can. Larry May, who has lived here since 1985, says the data is discouraging. It's like Portland died. Yeah. You know, the tourists haven't come back like it used to be, especially the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. This is, they love this city. Guest cites housing prices and the job market as reasons people are leaving. May says the biggest reason is safety. There it is. Safety, guys. I've done videos about the homeless situation in Portland. It's, it's ridiculous. And Portland is like ground zero for everything that, that we talk about. The, the, the small little policies passed that just encourage the behavior that, that, in, that creates a situation where people don't want to live there anymore. Portland is ground zero. So I'm glad these people are are leaving. Blaming cuts to police. I hope they get it back up again because the crime is really bad. The shootings and it's just, it's not the Portland I knew. The Portland Business Alliance says these trends are concerning in its 2023 State of the Economy report. It noted high and rising vacancy rates in downtown offices and increased crime. Addressing the city's population, it says, People in businesses vote with their feet, and they are not voting for Portland, the city, or the region in the way they have in the recent past. And that's all you can do, especially when you have a municipality like Portland that has a certain mindset that probably isn't going to change. You have to vote with your feet. Move away. Economic decline is the only way these people are going to listen. The only way. Hit them in their wallets. Guest says it's not the way she would like to see Portland heading. I mean, here we are in this beautiful park. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think it's it makes me feel a little, a little like sad. The Portland Business Alliance says if the current trends continue, the economic outlook here is as concerning as any time since twin recessions hit the U.S. in the 1980s. In Southeast Portland, Will Metzold, Fox 12, Oregon. Once again, Portland is a prime example. So I'm going to keep my eye on Portland. And once again, as a former Washington resident, I can tell you these states, I spent a lot of time, Seattle, Olympia, Portland, Eugene, Salem. And there used to be beautiful places to live outdoors, you know, great festivals, great people, great coffee. But you look at the news now and you know, 
I go back every once in a while, and it's as bad as you see it on the news, guys. Don't move to Washington State. Don't move to Oregon. And definitely don't move to California. If you're one of, uh, of my su subscribers and you live in um, Washington, Oregon, uh, California, let me know what you think about this. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.